Hey, it's Cheryl. I wanted to say thank you. Thank you all for your support, for your well wishes, for your... I believe that you all are my friends. I never thought that I could make 300 friends in, in a week. But I've been blessed with Kiana's kindness to do that. I said I was not going to come on here and make any more videos unless I did a little bit more for my appearance, but I couldn't do that today. There's a young woman, her name is Sheila. She contacted me and we exchanged numbers. And for the last few days, we have failed to connect, but we connected this evening. And this lady has a lot more on her plate than I do. She's dealing with some health issues that I'm not going to say are insurmountable, but it's quite a lot that she's going through. In the midst of her struggle, she felt that she had to reach out to me to encourage me to share the similarities in our lives. That was the sweetest thing that... Sheila, I don't feel worthy of your friendship. I don't feel worthy of the blessings that you bestowed on me today. Praying with me. Empathizing with me. Sharing so much with me. I never ever felt that I could get up here and do this YouTube thing. I believe God had some intervention in here in allowing Kiana to see me record that and encourage me and then come back and ask her subscribers to help me. Kiana's strengthened the movement where, you know, women, we can stick together. We don't have to be like the housewives and be mean and hateful to each other. This support system, I don't know if I'm crazy or not, but I'm wallowing in the warmth and the support that you ladies are sending me. I, I've always wanted to do better and be better. I couldn't help myself. Now I got some people to talk to. Sheila, pray, this lady pray for me. I think what she's going through is far worse than what I'm going through. She listened to me just wallow in this pain for my brother. She encouraged me. She lifted me up. I can't lift myself up. Can you imagine that? To come on YouTube to lose weight and gain friends. I've got friends that I've known for most of my life who wouldn't lift a finger when this stuff happened with my brother. I had one friend where I asked her to attend a rally for my brother and she said she couldn't because she had a hair appointment. Here is a perfect stranger who wants to encourage me. Me. Someone who doesn't feel worthy of what God has given her. But this lady feels that I'm worthy of continuing to live. Because that's what this weight loss, is, weight loss is all about. Right now I'm just existing day to day. But if I can get this weight loss weight loss going the way I need it to go I am going to live not live again I'll get to live period so I'm so grateful Kiana that you were nice that you've been nice I've been watching you for a long time I've been watching you when you and Tina were getting into it before when you were cooking and uh, the way you met Chuck I know everything that you wanted me to know about you and I thank you for that and then you told these people to come and, and, and do this. You didn't have to do that. And then I meet this lady. And I met two or three other women too. I haven't met them personally. But we've exchanged emails. We. What can I say? You know God is so awesome. And I never felt worthy of anything that he's given me. But now he's given me. 300 friends. I don't know about this subscriber and followers. He's given me 300 friends that I can communicate with. 
every day. These people reply back to me when I tell them thank you. They encourage me. I've got people alive around me now that when I tell them things that are going on with me, instead of telling, you know, not, well, they start to lament on what is going on with them too. And I try to be there for them. But when you call somebody for help and they don't listen to you, they start talking about their own ailments. Neither one of us gets better. I'm still determined. I'm still trying. But God, I just wanted to let you all know that this has really been a, this has been a big deal for me. This has been a wonderful situation for me. And I just wanted to say hello to all of you. Thank you all again. Um, I'm not real good with the editing yet. And I, I tried to set up a Facebook where we could share more things. And I want you all to come over there. I'm, I'm setting up my diet plan. Um, I'm not going to be able to get into that pool until this wound heals. So it'll be some low impact dancing with Dora and Lala and Lolly. And, and walking, you know, not great distances, but I'll be doing some things to to get me going. But I just want to say thank you. Sheila, you, you girl. Thank you. If you all, I've tried to send Kiana a couple of messages, but I haven't heard back from her. But y'all just tell her to watch this video. And she's just, you know, if you can make a difference in somebody's life, you've done an awesome thing. People have been telling me they're praying for me. And I know they must be because I've been convicted in my spirit about some stuff that I've been dealing with to the fact where I woke up kind of scared, you know. But it wasn't that kind of scared like I'm going to get in trouble, but it's like, oh, mm, this has to go. This has to, I have to depart from this way of thinking. I have to not be afraid, you know, that kind of stuff. So I thank you all. I am grateful. I don't think I have a lot to offer, but if anybody, <laughs> you know, if I can do anything for anyone, if I can encourage you all to keep at it and, and trust in God, and, you know, if, if you can do something for somebody the way things have been done for me in these last two weeks, please do. Don't miss out on any opportunity to, to be great for God. Don't be don't miss out on an opportunity to be great in God. And we can do that just by being loving, kind representatives of him, because that's what we are. You know, that what would Jesus do thing? That's an awesome slogan, because when it comes to treating your fellow human being well, that's what you should say. What would Jesus do in this situation? Somebody just did something that ticked you off a little bit. But, but would Jesus really get mad at them for bumping into you, for blowing the horn? You know, we have to take these large, these small instances and turn them into big opportunities to be representatives of Christ. So, Kiana, I thank you. All of my 300 friends I've just gotten, I thank you. Sheila, especially, you ministered to me today. You helped me because I couldn't get out of the bed today until I called you. I've been trying to get up all day long. Lolly didn't have class today. It should have been an opportunity for me to be a little bit more active than I have started to become, but I could not get up. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate everybody's kindness. I appreciate your love and support. And I don't know if I can do anything for anyone, but you can contact me by email and I'd be glad to talk with you. And my Facebook page, you can leave messages there, recipes, any kind of encouragement that you have. I thank you all so much. God bless you.